there is the biblical Jesus and there is the modern Jesus you see their difference watch the modern Jesus the one that is preached today is preaches only what love it doesn't preach discipline that modern Jesus people don't hear about discipline in church you bring discipline they say where, where are you coming from all the way love you are living in sin love you are eating tight love they say uh, for all that do it such shall by no means inherit the kingdom of God they don't preach that one they say no God is a God of love he loves you too much to see you go to hell people have been going before you if you read your Bible let me tell you something listen I told my wife something I'm not afraid of death the Bible says in Revelation chapter 3 listen he said blessed are they that die in the Lord for their works do follow them I rather die preaching the truth than compromise the truth I rather die preaching the truth than compromise the truth no a day to compromising it Jesus take me home well, Christianity is what's, what's mean that? if I can't tell you truth why are you, why are you in church let the mouth of the priest preserve what truth because it is the scarcest commodity love you are sleeping with a woman that is not married to you they say no it's love Jesus is too loving to wound us but look at the biblical Jesus he preach what righteousness today fornication is joke people are committing adultery from there they come and sing in choir people are living with another man who is not married to them from there they come to church Christians are dressing naked on their way to church that's not what Jesus preached the biblical Jesus preached what righteousness what is righteousness right standing with God people go outside they deny Christ there are many of you who don't have fiscal Bible because you are ashamed to hold Bible in your hand all you have is online Bible and of all the softwares on your phone that's the only one that is not working number two modern Jesus he gives you health and wealth that's only what you hear in churches he will prosper you he will prosper you he will make you whole that's all but the biblical Jesus gives salvation hope peace and joy what you need is no money when you have the peace of God it will create wealth I teach you principles you don't want to obey you choose a life of suffering I'm not pursuing money I have chosen to pursue Christ but I'm not in lack of the money in the same country you are living will you not learn it you read about Peter did you see him God raised one for you now you are still doubting I am not paid by any company in the world yet I have never lacked including King's Potter Global I am not paid by any company in the world no church is paying me by choice by choice yet this little boy the Lord is his shepherd has never had need to beg it's not in it. I said this church is not paying me I'm qualified to receive pay here but I chose to I rejected it I said I don't want a dime from the church what are you talking about <laughs> have I called you before to beg it's never going to happen it's never going to happen if it's in my call I'm following you up for Christ not to collect anything from you The biblical Jesus preaches salvation. People are in church ushering, they are not saved. <laughs> People have been to church 10 times in church, they are not born again. Are you born again? I'm in church. No. As many as in Christ, not many are in church. Are we together? It's about being in Christ, not being in church. The modern Jesus never says anything negative, but the biblical Jesus warns of sin. He warns of judgment and he warns of hell. That's the biblical Jesus. You don't hear about him again. The modern Jesus. You know, you know, he doesn't say, he says, no, no, that's harmful. How can you say people will go to hell? It's harmful. But that's what the biblical Jesus preached. He warned you of sin. He says, sin, for after you have meditated upon it and act on it, sin leads to death. You don't need to like me today, but the wages of sin is what? Death listen before sin there was health before sin there was wealth 
before sin there was long life the moment sin came lifespan short the moment sin came a, a, a wickedness was introduced listen every problem you are seeing today the problem of man began with the fall of adam is with the introduction of sin as long as you are living in sin you will keep having hiccups let anybody preach any nonsense to you you must stay away from the path of sin and then the grace of god will shine on you can i hear somebody say amen, amen. not that you are cohabiting he say it doesn't matter he say we he just uh, we are in love uh, jesus is with us it's not with you there are many people listening to me now if jesus comes now you are not making heaven they preach to you he say i feel condemned it's better you hear truth now because he that judges himself will not be judged but the day jesus will come his standard is sure nobody can tell now who is a believer and an unbeliever they dress cloth all of them look like prostitutes no let me ask you a question are you not married why are you chatting up that and having sex with another man are you not supposed to be married are you not supposed to be in your husband's house Are you not born again? Are you not a child of God? Are you not confessing Christianity? Why do you masturbate? Let him that name the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. He's claiming the word of God. Stop making things up. Jesus wants of sin. The woman that was accused of adultery, she committed adultery, and the elders wanted to stone her. Jesus said, Any one of you who is not guilty of such, pick stone and stone her. And all of them cleared. He said, Woman, where is the accuser? He said, The Vulcan. Jesus said, Go thy way. I accuse you not. He said, But go thy way and sin no more, lest a worse thing come upon you. Is it your Bible? Sin attracts judgment. <laughs> that you are living in sin and paying tight. Tight does not cancel your sin. Did you hear what I said? If you like, don't answer me. It's fine. I've never preached to have fans. I'm used to having enemies when I preach. Are you understanding me? Yes. Because if you are after popularity and fame, the Bible said Jesus made himself of no reputation. No reputation. Let me tell you, any church you go to where truth cannot be told you, if you care about eternity, run out from that church. Go to a place where they'll tell you truth. Let the truth pay you, but hear it. In the end of the day, the name of the Lord stand there sure. Let those that name it the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. You can't have Jesus on one hand and club on the other hand. They don't work together. Today you are in church. Friday you are in club. Whining. Sunday you are in church. They don't go together. They don't go together. This kingdom abhors mixture. The same match you say praise the Lord. The same match you use F word. You swear like Satan. Where is the difference? What makes you a believer? And what's the difference between you and the believer? The Bible says that there is no comparison between light and darkness. But people cannot see any difference. You swear like unbelievers. You steal like unbelievers. In your office, you cheat like unbelievers. After you have despised God, you are still begging. This is the half of the year. They say, praise God. You will not praise him. When you come out, Jesus, give me, give me, give me, give me. There are things that work faster than prayer. If you can't thank him for what he has done, on no account will you receive the next level. Let anybody deceive you. Go to a church where the pastor tells you truth. And can I add, you can better stay in a church where the pastor will not beg you money. It's, I say it. Somebody say, hey, this is paying me. Why is he paying you? Why is he paying you about it? That I say I will not beg you. Why is he paying you? The last church you left, why do you leave? The pastor is always begging you. Now you met the one who said you will not beg. He said he's proud. Which one is better? Nothing person, person will do to please you. Nothing. You go to church where the pastor is begging. He said, hmm, hmm, pastor, they beg too much. Oh. He begs too much. You go to the one where the pastor said we will not beg. He said, hmm, that one is proud. Well, choose one. Choose one. Where they will beg you or where they will not beg you. Listen, my friend, nobody is your problem your failure to obey the word of god is your hindrance leave satan jesus paid the price and destroyed the effect of sin he said for this reason 1 john 3 8 the son of man came to destroy the works of satan which one is disturbing you 
it's not it my people perish for lack of knowledge but when you know why are you perishing lack of obedience Isaiah 1 18 says if you be willing and obedient what will happen you will eat the good of the land there is no devil anywhere to stop you let the devil stop me from eating the good of this land am I hiding in saying it I'm on public let the devil come and stop me from eating the good of the land as long as I'm in obedience there is no devil that can stop me from eating the good of the land modern Jesus is loved and accepted by the world but look at the biblical Jesus hated and despised by the world he said the world hates me they will hate you also when you see a believer that unbelievers like mark him is because he's living like them if your life as a believer does not make an unbeliever uncomfortable it's because you are living like them they see you like one of them so you are not a threat your life is supposed to be a threat to an unbeliever not threat as per death but your life is supposed to be a judgment when they see you they are very uncomfortable your flatmate is not afraid to bring woman inside the house in your front do you know why because the last time they gave you also one you collected you are you're a christian no? your your flatmate will come back they will bring he said ah, 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 where are you bringing all these fine fine girls from they ask you do you want one he said i won't mind though then they brought one for you you too collected woman then tomorrow you come out on saturday and my church is having thanksgiving i'm inviting you for church the man said look at you me come to your church when me and you are doing fornication together then i will come to your church you know there are people who put bible in your hand now send you to your street once i drop you in front of your street the bible will fall off from your hand nobody beating you the bible will fall off from your hand you know why you can't hold bible in your hand in your street you have disgraced yourself everywhere everybody has slept with you modern jesus loved and hated and uh, loved by the world but scriptural jesus he said that he even said he said the world hates me they will hate you look at you all every unbeliever loves you every unbeliever loves you once they see you like man why would they not love you because the tight trousers you're wearing you're only tighter than their own <laughs> the way your breast is exposed eh? their own they even have some sense started here your own is from here so they see you say man you are my man i love you I love you I love you because you have compromised Christianity they look at you they can't see the difference they can't see the difference my friend if you are for God wake up all these days if you are doing modern Christianity I refuse to be modern Christianity cannot be modernized in him was life and the life was the light of men it is God that gives life to people not people giving life to the word of God the modern Jesus serves your will not god's will that's the modern jesus it's about my way my way my 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 look at the scriptural jesus he exalts god the father's way he cares about the will of the father not his own way are you getting what i'm saying today the average christian in church does not care nothing about the will of god what he cares is his own will pastor my will my will when will you start serving god when i sort out myself can let me ask you a question can you ever sort out yourself <laughs> two error in that statement number one when you say let me sort out myself god backs off from you because you have told him that you are the pioneer of your destiny he will leave you to pioneer it but number two as long as you're on earth the needs and wants of man never come to an end so if you are claiming to sort yourself out listen jesus will return you have not finished sorting out yourself buy bugatti now 2020 in the next week i guarantee you you will hunger for bugatti 2023 the search and the need of man never ends you either decide to settle down serve. you are not even afraid jesus gave you gift instead of you to use it to serve him you postpone the day you will start serving you, you are you are dangerous so you are he said i will start serving god so 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 day are you the owner of life can i tell you something last week sunday a friend of mine on his, as he woke up in the morning to go to church enter bathroom he slumped there and died a pastor last week Sunday Father's Day slumped there you think he's a sinner people are serving and dying how much more those who are not serving they tell you use your life and serve God you will hear 
until the day you go to hospital you say the lump is cancerous pastor 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 please pray for me i'm a member of your church that i want to use god to serve the lord your god and he will bless your bread and water why not just simply settle down and serve god all this run around run around it is no, no gain in it david said before i used to envy the wicked until i saw the end of the wicked it's dark and slippery you know what the bible says why do the hiddens rage people who don't know god are making too much noise it's confusing you settle down and serve god there is reward in serving christ can i hear you say amen can i hear you say amen maybe some of you invited somebody to church now you are afraid you say hey what will this person do to me after service this message is too hot don't be afraid if they don't want to come back there's no problem there's no wrong you have done the truth must be told truth must be told can i tell you something if every christian i'm seeing here is doing evangelism churches will not be empty on sunday <laughs> you know sometimes they say hey who oh, what is god doing in kp this this whole peter bruno kp global this hope is there's no way you enter they say can be global we know the church we know it. i ask myself this church that is making too much wave how many is the church self how many is the church eh? hey, an attendance plus children maybe you have 200 or 200 or something. is it what is making noise is 200 growth do you know why because the rest you enter five four ten fifteen twenty so when you see one like 200 you are you are amazed this is not growth this is not growth but can i tell you something we are going somewhere he said johnny days are coming here mark my word if i be a prophet eh? you come to church eh? 15 minutes past 10 you will not have space to sit down every beer will be filled outside we have projectors overflow the bible said in micah chapter 2 verse 1 to 4 it shall come to pass on the last days that the mountains of the lord's house shall be exalted above every other mountain he said nations shall run to it and say come let us go to the house of the lord that we may be taught of the house of the lord church is not where they shout who hey who hey go to gym and do that one that's nonsense somebody lift your left leg and shout who that's not church go and join gymnastics club too many noise makers in church you correct somebody they're offended why wouldn't you be corrected those who hate instructions never fly high he said rebuke a wise man it will be anointing on his forehead he said rebuke a fool he will be offended in you is it me that wrote it go and read your bible is there go and read your bible they can't correct you but you are full of misbehavior let me tell you something that you are 50 years is not a sign of maturity celebration of age is a stone age philosophy leave your age let's talk about your functionality you are misbehaving like a child foolishness are bound in the heart of every child but the rod of correction drives it out that's why even even you can be here and you are not spiritually mature foolishness are bound in the heart of every child it's a rod of correction that does what that drives it out settle down and take correction so you can shape your destiny and move to the next level let me hear you say big amen so the modern jesus hates to offend others he said how can i preach hell how can i preach give how can i it will offend them but the scriptural jesus offends the world with what with what with what mm, open your mouth now with what truth 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 if you go now the people that will be angry with me now after this service go and ask them what i did you will see it's what i preach <laughs> it will not be pastor beg me it will not be pastor say kiss me it will not be say pastor say touch me no it will be truth <laughs> should i apologize what for for preaching truth god forbid do they die two times they don't die two times it's once glory to god have you learned something have you learned something have you learned something first service is over give the lord praise 